Today I'm going to talk about untangling your life. Here's what Fanny Crosby once wrote. She said, when the winds are cold and the days are long and thy soul from care would hide, fly back, fly back to thy father then and beneath his wings abide. In Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6, the Bible says this, Trust the Lord with all your heart. Not part of your heart, all of you. And don't depend on your own understanding. Remember the Lord in all you do, and God will give you success. The Bible contains promises made by God, upon which we can depend, and we should. But sometimes, especially when we find ourselves caught up in the everyday entanglements of living, we fail to trust God completely. It's like if you ever uh, would be on a, a, a fishing boat and look down at a net where the net has caught some fish. They're struggling. They're trapped in the net. They're entangled. Sometimes they, they get literally inside of the netting and can't get out from that. Well, so do we, but it happens most of the time in our minds. We get so entangled in our own problems and we give total focus to the entanglements. Most of the prayer requests that we receive here at Positive Christianity are about the entanglements of life, about how a person is trapped and they want to know their way out. All we do at Positive Christianity is pray the opposite, that they are not entangled, that with God's help, they are finding a way out. That that they were blind to a moment before, well, they, they find and they see an opening. Are you tired? Are you discouraged? And are you fearful? Trust God. Trust the promises that God has made to you, and in that moment you'll find the net is falling away. You'll find that you are no longer entangled. You will be untangling your life with God. You'll find a tremendous comfort immediately as this is happening. Are you worried? Are you anxious? Well, then be confident in God's power. Does your future seem difficult? When you think about the future, do you only see entanglements and problems and difficulties? Well, that is the time to be courageous, to call on God, and God will protect you and work in you and through you, guiding you daily, moment by moment, through the maze to your potential. Are you confused? Well, if you are, listen to the quiet voice of your heavenly God. It will instantly comfort you, strengthen you, and guide you. God is not a God of confusion. Talk to God and honor God. Give God your attention in all that you do now, all you will do in the future, and God will give you success. God bless you.